knock, knock. Come in, come in, come in. Okay, how are you doing? My name's Chris. I'm going to be your nurse today. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, wash my hands, and then we'll go ahead and uh, take a look at the doctor's orders. Oh, very good, good, good. Excellent. Okay, I'm washing my hands, and let me come back over here. Um, can I get your name, please? Oh, yes, it's Rudolph Amaro. Okay, and your date of birth? February 4th, 1934. Okay, fantastic. It looks like your side rails are in good condition. Um, what we're going to do today, I uh, do see that your vitals were just taken about five minutes ago. Uh, everything looks great, but we do want to get your oxygen level up a little bit. It's, a, it's at about 86, and the doctor would really like it above 90. So um, he has ordered some oxygen administration for you. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is move your bed to a about 30 to 40 degrees. Uh, we'll call it 30. Uh, this is the best way for your lungs to expand and for you to get the most oxygen possible. Uh, additionally, before I go ahead with the assessment, um, I do want to go ahead and glove up. And uh, I'm just going to take a look at uh, your skin, see how everything's going, um, see whether we have any cyanosis or anything like that. How are you feeling today? Uh, what's your, do um, you have any pain on a scale of 1 to 10 where 0 is no pain at all and 10 is the worst pain you could imagine? Uh, what's your pain level like right now? Oh, just a one, dear boy. Just okay, excellent. So not too much pain. Uh, is anything different? between right now and the last time the nurse visited your room. Oh no, nothing Nothing at all. Okay, excellent. That sounds good. Um, so now we will go ahead and take a look at the doctor's orders. Um, looks oh. like right now he has ordered to start off. Partial rebreather. Um, let's see, where, where is all this stuff? At first, we can do the Venturi first. Would you want to do Venturi again? Since we already... doesn't look right. Just do them all. Um, so, do them all. Okay, so, um, so he's ordered a Venturi mask. Uh, what the... What's that? Lowest amount of oxygen. Lowest amount of oxygen. Well, okay, I need the nasal cannula and I don't, I don't see it here. So, I don't know if someone jacked the nasal cannula. There's no water to open. It's right here, sorry. Oh, okay. There we go. So, nasal cannula over here. That's the rebreather. Okay. That's a partial rebreather. Okay, good deal. So, we'll start off low. The uh, nasal cannula allows us to deliver. From anywhere, anywhere from one liter of oxygen per minute up to six liters of oxygen per minute. Typically, we want to start out at about two liters. So what we will go ahead and do is connect this to the oxygen flow. We want to get it, make sure it's nice and tight on there. And we're going to turn it on up to two meters to start because that's what it says in the physician's order and verify that the oxygen actually flowing it is which is excellent and now we can go ahead and put this on you here I always want to make sure that the cannula are facing back and down towards your nares otherwise you're not going to get the uh, you're not going to get the proper amount of oxygen so we want to do that and I'm doing this wrong so yeah. Make sure this is down here. Make sure, and now it's backwards. Just relax. Yeah, no, it's all good. All right. Okay, and we want to make sure that you come around your ears rather nicely. Since your earlobes are attached to your head, it makes it a little difficult, but that's okay. It happens to all of us. And then we're going to make that nice and snug against your skin. Let me know if it's too tight, uh, but we do want to make sure that all of that oxygen is being delivered properly in your nose. That feel okay to you? Yes, but there is a little slight irritation on top of your nose. Okay, excellent. Sounds good. Well, what we can do for that, uh, we can get some gauze or some cotton and put it underneath the, uh, the cannula tubing here, and that way it won't be directly against your skin. That should prevent any irritation. So if that continues to happen, uh, please do let me know. And let's also, let's take a look at all of our overriders here. Where'd they go? Here we go. Okay, excellent. So um, I am going to go ahead and put an oxygen in use sign on your door. There are a couple things that uh, I do want to tell you about oxygen administration, um, mainly that it is very flammable. So if you have anyone come to visit you, no smoking, no lights, 
No uh, happy birthday candles, nothing like that. No open flames in the room because the oxygen is going to build up and we could uh, have a, a potentially pretty hazardous situation if any open flames are introduced to that. Um, additionally, like I said, um, you know, if you have any issues with the comfort of the tubing, uh, let me know. We, uh, we can put some gauze or some cotton underneath that. I'm going to go ahead and be back in 10 to 15 minutes to check on you, uh, see from looking at your uh, pulse oximeter that we're already, we're already starting to get a climb in your, uh, in your, oxy your pulse, oxy pulse oximetry level. Am I saying that right? Yeah, does it sound right? Okay. Climb in your pulse oximetry level, so that's definitely a good thing. It looks like this is working. Uh, we can adjust this. What's that? O2 sat. Okay, O2 sat. Yeah, we can adjust this if necessary. Uh, we can go all the way up to oh, six, and you know if that uh, does look like it's going to be necessary, I, I'll go ahead and confer with the uh, physician on that. Uh, here is your call light. Please call me if you notice anything uh, out of the ordinary. You know if you get dizzy, if you're nauseous, uh, if you're feeling any sort of pain, or if generally you start to feel worse uh, than you did before this oxygen was administered. Let me know. Uh, I am going to go ahead and keep one of these bed rails down, but we'll keep these big ones up for your safety, okay? And uh, please let me know. Uh, if you have any additional questions, I'm going to go ahead and wash my hands so I can go visit your neighbor, and I'll be back to see you pretty soon. Thank you so much. Bye. Okay.